What is up guys and gals? My name is Mr. Moose and today we're back in the garage for a little more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We're actually wrapping up part two of our Hellcat build. Uh, if you guys checked out our last video, we bought this guy in a barn find for like $14,600. And with a little bit of work on the engine, we've got the value up to $22,527. We just got to finish out the build. A couple of little things to do with the engine here. Uh, and then we'll get up underneath the car and uh, go ahead and continue out with that. So uh, anyways, welcome back, everybody. If you missed our last video, we basically went over the ins and outs of the barn finds and talked about the mechanics of the barn finds and just how it all worked, how many you were going to get, all that information. If you missed it, go back and check out that video for me. Anyways, for the rest of you guys, welcome back. Hope you guys enjoy the build today. Uh, again, just a few little things to do here underneath the hood, uh, and then we can uh, move forward with the undercarriage and um, yeah, we'll be done with this one. It shouldn't take too much time. All right, so that gets a battery in. We still have to put oil and a filter in it, uh, but we can do that in just a bit. Need to go ahead and put our transmission in. So flywheel goes on. Clutch plate. Pressure plate. Yep, yep, tighten this up. Then we'll do the throw out bearing and all will be good. And we'll slap up that. I really wish they modeled in a transmission jack over there. I wish they had to put that in. That would have been a cool little feature to have to come over here and put your transmission jack and jack it up and, you know, put everything on. A bit more and more step, but it would have been neat. Would have added a little bit more to the realism. All right, so with that done, we clear out our inventory. The only thing left in here is the drive shaft. So let's do the cell. Well, I have my fuel tanks in here and a couple other pieces of stuff. Sell the junk. Put all that get rid of. It got rid of quite a bit of it. Um, let's go over here and put a couple of things in the warehouse real quick. Sit through the black screen of loading. Come on, work on this, guys. Apparently, I guess the game's developers and their distribution company think that they've got everything pretty much wrapped up. Uh, we're still on version 1.2.0. Uh, and there hasn't been an update in probably five days, six days, um, which is a little disheartening because the game is by no means ready for prime time. It still has some bugs in it. Um, you know, I guess you could put it out in its current state and be happy with it. But, And I've seen some things on the forums where people were saying stuff like, well, if... If one point, if the game were released as 1.2.0, would you be satisfied with it? No, I wouldn't. Um, you know, there's still things that need to be done. But I got a um, got an email from the distributors, Playway, um, with another key and a, and a Mazda DLC a couple of days ago, and in it they were all apologetic about the way the game shipped, you know, and. I guess you heard we had some bugs when the game came out, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, but, oh, yeah, we got it all fixed. We have a great playable game that remains top 20 on the sales at Steam and blah, blah, blah. And they were just all cheerleading and everything. And it got me concerned because it, it's almost like they're, okay, we got it good enough. Time to move on. Let's go do something else. And um, the fact that we haven't seen a, uh, a patch at all this week um, leads me to believe they are in that direction. Let's hope not, because there's still more work that needs to be done. The inventory system needs to be fixed uh, going in there uh, so that it's not terrible. There still needs to be work on um, the parts interface. Still getting duplicates on the fender as we showed in our video the other day. Um, there's parts of the menu system that you can't even see that need to get fixed. And the controls for the for the car at the racetrack are absolutely pathetic and needs to get worked on. 
for the test track and the um, for test track as for the the racetrack. I mean, it's unplayable. The racetrack is is an utter joke trying to use it um, with the game in its current state as far as the way that you control with a, a mouse and keyboard. And that is that is something that is inherent with most games that are created for console but put out on PC. And you know, I know this game isn't out on console yet. It's not going to console until the end of the year. Bless your hearts, you guys aren't going to have all the issues that we have had to suffer through. We're, we've been the guinea pigs, and uh, you guys will get a much better version of it uh, than we got coming out. But when games are written for console and they're written for controllers, it seems like the guys who play mouse and keyboard get the shaft as far as how your game works. Uh, as far as input from mouse and keyboard when it comes to things like steering uh, things of that nature I've played other games that have been developed you can tell they're developed specifically so they can go to console with them uh, the interface the menu system just all of it is simplified for console and this one you can tell has been done that way and of course we know it's going to console so it's no big deal and that's nothing against console it's just the developers need to take that extra step to smooth out the interface between mouse and keyboard and things like steering acceleration that kind of stuff in the game because i've played other games that when they came out they were unplayable almost on keyboard mouse because you didn't have any sort of finesse uh, when you were trying to steer. Let's look at our body parts real quick. Anyways, those games have been able to solve the problem, so uh, this one should be able to fix it. I need to sort by name so we can look at what is broken and what is not. Uh, looks like we got to replace one bottom suspension arm. See, here's another thing with the inventory system that is bugged out and wrong. That, that brake caliper is good, and that bottom suspension arm is good, but it doesn't show up that way as being repaired. It's not updating properly from the um, from the system. Looks like it's bad, but it's actually good. The disc, I don't think we repaired, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna buy those anyways. But I'm gonna assume anything that is not red has been repaired, and I don't have to replace. Could be wrong, but I think I'm right. So if we go through here and look now at the system, we're gonna need a bottom suspension arm. Um, probably need one brake caliper cylinder. I need, gonna go ahead and get two uh, disc pads I'm gonna get. I'm gonna assume that's good, as well as that. I will need the front sway bar. That is something you can't repair. I will need a front wheel hub. Always gonna have to replace the tie rods, the bearings, uh, but we'll need the sway bar in link B and hubs and hubcaps. I will need on all of that as well. So just going back and look, bottom suspension arm, uh, front hub, all right. I should be able to do this now. Let's see if I can go in here and buy what I need to buy. So we'll go into the old parts warehouse here. We'll go to suspension. Start at the top. It just always works that way better for me. I said bottom suspension arm, right? I need two of these. I need a couple of these. A couple of those. Uh, one of these. One of those. Two of these, two of those. Uh, let's see, what else did I say I needed? As always, I need about 10 of these. I think it's only like eight actually that you need, but I'll go ahead and buy 10. It never hurts to have a little bit of extra. You can always sell them later or put them on a you know, customer car. All right, break stuff. 
All right, so here's another thing with the inventory. If it doesn't update like this, go back to all, let it repopulate, and then go back to the subcategory, and it should bring them in. I needed one of these, two of those, a couple of thems. That yeah, we should be good. All right, so let's put it all back together. See how we come out here. Cross member E, going in place, putting some bushings into it. There's one there. And another one there. And then if I spin around, I should be able to click on that one. Come over here and put it in. And then if I swing up here, should be able to throw that one into place. Bada bing, bada boom. Go ahead and put the steering rack in. And we'll go ahead and put the front sway bar in. There we go. Now we can back out over here. I'd like to be able to hang the lower control arm in, but I can't. So I'll go ahead and put that piece into place. And then we'll put this on here. Yup. See again, it'd be cool if you could build like the front steering knuckle. If you could build all this out off of the car and then hang it once you got on the car, that would be kind of cool. Kind of cool, I think it would be cool. I think it would be cool. Uh, all right, so well, then we're gonna go up here, upper suspension arm, throw that in place. And I forgot to do my, uh, my shocks, which I always do. It's just not something I'm accustomed to doing. It's not, I don't have that kind of suspension on any of my cars in real life so it's not something i think about so it looked like that piece was actually bad huh put that in place put that in place put that in place that's in place and the brake caliper goes in None of those parts were bad. Amazing. I mean, that just drives me nuts that I can't tell that stuff in the inventory right now. Fix it. You're not done. You still got issues in the game. All right. So take that off of there. Put that one on there. Somebody commented the other day, oh yeah, I was thinking of issues. I bought a car and I sent it to the garage and it was never there. Well, did you have a car right here? Just to make sure you guys understand, if there is any vehicle here and you send another vehicle to the garage uh, here, it's going to overwrite that car. And that car that is sitting there is going to disappear. Um, so just keep that in mind. Only one car can take up this, uh, yeah, this slot. So if there's another car sitting here, it will just automatically override it. It's not smart enough to put it over here. So if you're up in your parking garage and you try to send two cars down, you're going to get down here and only have one. Just be aware of that. Don't make the mistakes I've made. Learn from my errors. All right. So all I got to do now is put the front wheel on that side and it is good to go all right so bottom suspension arm goes in top suspension arm going in whoa i didn't buy enough bushings i thought i bought plenty I will buy a few more. I think we only need two, maybe three more. I know I need two for this, and I might need two for the rear end. Forget exactly. Depends on which rear end, which which rear end you have in the car as to whether or not you need them for the for the rear. If it's got a leaf spring in it, you don't need. But I don't think you need any. It's got leaf springs in it. I 
I, I used to know every single part. In 15, I knew exactly the numbers on everything that I needed because I'd played it so much. You know, you just absolutely knew what you needed. Ah, shit about that piece, huh? All right. Front knuckle should be right there. I thought that piece was good. Messed up. All right, let's get that wheel hub bearing in there. Put that on there. Need to get that on there. Need to get that on there. And throw that in. Yep. I guess at one point, and, I, and I'll mess around with this later on today. I'll um, let me get rid of some inventory real quick. I'll take a look and see like what uh, I'll build another car and mess around with the inventory system and see if going up to the parking deck and coming back will get we'll get all the um, information correct because it really is annoying when you're looking at your inventory and taking a guess as to whether or not something's good or not. Alright, so we got one more brake caliper bearing out of there that we didn't have to buy even though it looked like it was bad. Uh, and the wheel hub that I thought was bad that isn't bad. We shouldn't need any of that stuff though because this should be leaf spring and have solid axles on it. So brake drum, brake shoes, all that good stuff. Yep. Solid rear axle. And take off the wheel cylinder, take out the hub, outer knuckle, and then we got these small rubber bushings, so we'll need four of those this time. Oh, come on camera, let's zoom out. I hate you. I hate this freaking camera system. Because see, I want to go up here and grab that bushing, and without the ability to zoom out further from the car, it's hard to see sometimes once you zoom in like this. Come on. There we go. All right, so we'll grab those off, get the leaf spring plate. Now we can take the spring out. And while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the fuel pump and the fuel tank. And I'll go ahead and put the fuel tank back in because I have one in inventory. Then I'll continue to take this thing apart. We'll zoom over to this side, take the wheel off. There we go. So yeah, getting back to what I was saying earlier though about control. I've seen it before, like I said, I was playing a game yesterday that got updated. And when it first came out, it was horrible to try and drive a vehicle in it. Uh, because, it, you know, again, mouse and keyboard, you couldn't drive anything in it worth a darn. And um, they've, they've surprisingly got it where it's really nice. Uh, you couldn't drive and you couldn't do some other things in the game that... Um, with any kind of accuracy at all because of the inputs. If I and I was forced to play that with a with a controller, and now I can play that game however I want to play it without any problems at all. So I um, I know it can be fixed. I know the problem can be resolved. So hopefully they will take the time to do it. Otherwise, it's gonna uh, continue to make things like the test track and the and the and the new race track an absolute waste of time. But since the console is the holy grail of grails these days and everything's got to go to console and everything's got to be work for console, um, you know, that means the developers have to take that little bit of extra care to make sure that they fix the rest of the stuff 
uh, for PC users, and I just feel like they they don't. I feel like they just kind of give us the shaft on that. All right, so not really sure about Wheel Hub 4. Let's just do it. Let's go up to the, uh, I know it adds a couple of minutes into the video, but let's go to the parking garage and see what's up. Let's see if it gives us the ability to fix that stuff so I can see what's actually broken and what's not. It just takes a couple of seconds. I've cleared a few cars out of the inventory. I sold some stuff off. Uh, that's the reason I got a little bit more money. I was making room for barn finds so that if we found some barn finds, I'd have enough room space up here. So like I sold the RX-7 off um, and I sold the, the Dodge Charger that we did. I still got this Charger. Um, but yeah, a few things got sold off. I've got another Hellcat up here that I've been working on. Um, but other than that, everything else, uh, a couple of cars got sold off. I don't know why I walk. I always do that. I walk over to this corner. Like I got to exit from this corner every time, but supposedly they're coming up with, uh, in a future patch, the ability to expand your parking lot, to have more space available, which will be good. Because let's be honest, you get to that point where you don't, you, you really don't sell some of these cars. You, you fix them up, you get them done, you're like, I don't want to sell that. All right, what'd that do for us? Uh, it looks like that resolved our issue a little bit. I'll know when I sort by name. Come on, there we go. Uh, let's see. All right, those are bad. All right, so we need one brake shoe, two drums, a leaf spring. I need a plate. I need a U-bolt. Both knuckle housings are bad. Yeah, it did fix it though, because uh, the wheel hub four, for sure, I saw that was bad. So yeah, just going up to the um, parking garage and coming back still is resolving that issue. Um, be nice if they would fix that. All right, so we got to buy a rear shock absorber B, housing knuckle B, one of them, one of those, one of those, a couple of them, one of those, and we should be good. All right, so get back in there suspension parts there we go from the top uh, which the top is always the front of the car and the bottom is the bottom of the car so I need one of these one of those one of them there's uh, B is the one of these I need I need two of those I need two of those I need Where's the bushing that? I need four of them. Uh, what else did I say we need? That seems like it. Uh, then we go into brakes. And we needed two of these. And one of those. And we had two of those. Good. Could that have been it? I still have to do the exhaust system, but yeah, I think that's that's that. Put her all back together. Start with putting our housing in. There we go. So we'll leaf spring over on this side. Put the plate in. Put a U-bolt on. There we go. And put another U-bolt there. And we'll go ahead and put a shock absorber on that side to hold her up. And we'll flip over to this side. And we'll go ahead and put the leaf spring in. And we'll go ahead and put that in. Of course, I really should put the bushings in the leaf springs first. Now that I think about it. It's like one of those things you think about. Well, duh, I wouldn't miss this if I was doing it because any fool would know you need to actually attach a leaf spring for the car. But also a lot of this stuff you, you could do on the ground like pre-assemble your leaf spring to your uh, to your rear end 
and then just jack it up into the car and then put in these four bolts or the bolts in as long as you had the alignment on your rear end right all right so let's put the shock absorber back in And while I'm here, put the fuel pump in. Excellent. All right, just build this out. I like this rear end. It goes a lot simpler. You start getting into the more complicated ones. They seem like they take forever when they've got like three different suspension arms and all of that stuff. I like simple sometimes. Simple is good. All right, got our bushings in. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Of course, there's a whole lot more to go to this brake system than just shoes, a cylinder, and, and a drum. There's all kinds of little springs and clips and the emergency brake lever and the <laughs> all the good stuff. All right, let's separate some rims out here. See if we can polish these up, make them look good. Yep, take that one, do another one. So what cars do you guys want to see me build? I know there's a lot of people in the notes going build this build that you know and, and some of them are ridiculous you know build a dragster build this you can build within the constraints of the thing and and i'm not a modder i don't go in and make modded vehicles up i know there is you can go in and, and mod up some cars in the game which is cool uh, but it's not something that i do so unless somebody makes one that i like I'm not going to be doing anything. Vintage tire 215 65R14s. 215s. In the vintage tire. Times four. that let's go over here and see if we get lucky and repair all of these rims up that one didn't seem like it did all right so I got one two three of them good I'm gonna have to replace one all right so it's an Atlanta 14 is what we gotta buy Which is way down here, right? Realm, Atlanta, Realm Typhoon. Uh, this is where search bar comes in handy. Uh, go down to 14s. Here we go. All right, take that, put a new one on. No, 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 wrong thing. There, there we go. Arch, what we're looking to do, and then we come over here to the balancer and run it through there. While we're doing that, we need rear mufflers, middle muffler, and this piece here. making all kinds of mistakes today. My intent's to build just about every car in the game, but um, oops, 
Oh well, that drifted over on me. Jake can get done what I wanted to do. All right, so I should have two more that need to be balanced. And then we'll, we'll get the tires on and then we'll do the exhaust system on this. And then we got a little bit of body work left and we'll be finished with her. And we'll see what our final our final assessment on this car is all fixed up and rearing to go. We'll see what kind of money we get off of it. Should have been a pretty good barn find though. Now that you can get the barn finds at a decent price, they're um they're definitely something to do now. Before, not really. Well, it is nice that they fixed that thing to where it finished up a lot faster now. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's put that on there. And drop down underneath here. We're going to put our oil filter in while we're down here. There we go. All right, so I need the front exhaust pipe V8 overhead A. Two middle mufflers and two rear mufflers for the V8 overhead. All right. And hopefully this should be about the last parts that we have to buy from the... From the store here, I still got a little bit of cosmetic stuff I gotta buy. Um, exhaust, Moose. Exhaust, that's what you're looking for. Uh, V8 overhead valve A. Need that. Uh, then I need the middle muffler and the rear muffler uh, for that. So two of these. And where's that middle muffler? Here it is. All right, so we'll put that in place, put that in place. Got to put the drive shaft back in. I should be able to get right there. There we go. All right, that should complete the undercarriage. So that we can come up here, check out the engine, put a little oil in there. And just run it till it starts to run out. There we go. She's got plenty of oil now, boys. Pull our dipstick, check it. Yep, got a little. Nice. All right, so just to discover some parts, I'm going to run some tests on everything. Let's do a quick compression test. And that will show that all of our engine parts should be 100%. Excellent. Let's run a test on the electrical system. Should be 100% on it as well. Come on. A lot of time on that. All right, good. Uh, we'll check the tire tread. We should find out that we got good tires and rims on here. Nice. All right, and then fuel system. Of course, I can't run the computer on it because this one doesn't have a computer on it. So, boom, there we go. So that gives everything up to 100%. We got oil in it. We got an oil filter in it. We should be just about done with this vehicle. Nice. And we're up to 35,930 bucks. So our parts on our on our car itself is up to 999. We'll take it out on the test track and see if that boosts that. We still have a few global body parts that we have to work on. And that's going to be all the glass that's in the car. So we'll go ahead and pull the glass. 
And we haven't done the interior as far as the steering wheel and stuff. Uh, so we still need to do that. Well, I thought I did the steering wheel. Hmm. Uh, headlamps need replaced. And actually, the license plates need replaced too. Even though I don't think that the license plates should add or take away from any value of the car. Uh, they actually can, so... Uh, let's see. Let's look at these by arrival. That way I can see where we're at with this. See how the glass is in really good shape. Honestly, I don't need to replace any of the glass. The headlamp needs to be replaced, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and go full. Now that piece of glass does need to be replaced. Gosh, you know, let's, um, Hmm. I'm going to put two new headlamps, two new tail lamps in, new front window. Nah, I'm just going to be silly with it. Ah, uh, hit the wrong button. I see. I want to be able to escape out to this menu to get to the body shop instead of having to go through that. All right. Hellcat. Boom. All right, one of these, one of those, one of them, one of that, one of those. Uh, one of those. Uh, left door window, right door window. I think it's the left body I already have good. So I'm just gonna get the right body window. Now watch, it'll probably be that the other one wrong. At this point, I really don't care. I just want to get the uh, the build up. 100%. 100%. Nice. 100%. Uh, put that in at 100%. There we go. 100% glass there. Oh, I bought the wrong window. Oh, well. Should have known that was going to happen. I always make them little errors. You don't pay attention enough to what you do there, Mr. Moose. You're right. I don't. <laughs> All right. What does that do for our body condition? I could have swore I did the interior on this car, but apparently it didn't because the steering wheel looks like snot on it. Uh, let's go ahead and go to normal mode. Let's move this off of here. And we'll put it at the door. We don't need to paint it. We've already painted it. So at this point, it's really going to be interior work that needs to be done. So let's go into interior assembly, disassembly mode. All right. Oops, wrong button. I want to go into the inventory and look at those. 78, 60, 79, new steering wheel all the way around. So we're going steering wheel three and leather seat five. And then bench for the Hellcat. Now, why couldn't that have been Hellcat seat, you know, or whatever? Now, again, you could put whatever seats you want into the car. Uh, but I just, I'm going back with what was in it. So steering wheel three, seat five, that's what we're going to buy. Uh, so we go home, interior, the wheel three, buy one of those, and then we'll go seat five, and we'll buy two of these, and then we'll do a Hellcat search, and we'll grab that bench, all is good. Come back over here. Assemble the interior. Hey, come on now. I wasn't done. I got more things to put into this baby. Now I'm done. Now we go back to normal mode. All right, what's that do for us? 
Boom, 97%. I guess this is the license plates. Seriously? I mean, seriously, I gotta pay. I gotta pay the penalty for not having license plates on. But in all honesty, I don't think it adds any value to the car. 35, 930. I don't think it does anything for the car just to have the license plates on it. Oh, uh, we'll buy one of these since it's where I live. And we'll come down here and get just the standard generic one for the front. We'll put those on real quick. Yep. Front license plate at 100%. And then we'll come put the rear license plate on at 100%. And we'll look at it, and that will give us 100% on the body position. And it didn't do anything for the value. So, other than gives you 100% global body condition to put the license plates on, it really doesn't do anything for the value of the car. Pretty darn good. Everything looks pretty good. What do y'all think? Y'all like the blue on this? I don't. I don't like the blue. The blue is nasty. To the paint booth. I sprayed it that way just to do it in the beginning, but I think we can do better. So let's go look at the liveries on this, see what we come up with. There is an actual pretty cool livery with this. Most of the liveries are pretty junky. Like, uh, you know, that one I can't stand. That's terrible looking. Uh, two is pretty ugly as well. Um, but three, I think it was three that looked pretty decent. decent. Yeah, it's the one that has just the little Hellcat on the back of it. So just so you guys can see what it looks like. It has that silver stripe across the back with the little Hellcat in there. I thought that was a pretty cool livery that they did. Eventually I'm gonna start doing custom liveries, but I just haven't taken the time to jump in there and create my own. They're really, they're a bit more um, in depth than what you wanna do. Ooh, like a pink. <laughs> like a pink. Ooh, look, a pink car. Um, What do we want to do today for this one? Oh, you know that would look good. Y'all know I'm a fan of red. I just absolutely love red. So red's going to always be in my stable. But if you did that red with the silver on the back of it. Ooh, she'd look pretty good, wouldn't she? Ooh, maybe a little darker even. Hmm, maybe. Uh, right about there, that's what I'm gonna go with. Yeah, let's move that out to the front door so we can take a look at it. Oh, that looks sharp. That looks good, kids. And it actually came out as a white on that red. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. I like that a lot. What do y'all think? I think it looks pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. All right, well, that's going to be our Hellcat build. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smack that like button for me and uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Like I said, we'll continue to build cars out. We're going to try to do all the cars in there as well as I'll start grabbing some of the mods uh, off of the uh, discussion board and putting some of the cars in. Somebody's done like a, uh, uh, like a rat rod. It looks really good, like a Model A rat rod. And uh, I definitely want to get a look at it once he finishes it up. But I don't want to jump into any of the mods right now while they're still being developed. I want to give them time to get polished out so that they don't look junky junky on us. So we'll continue out to play out. I'm going to level up a little bit more in some live streams this week. And um, then we'll just continue to go at it. But anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do join us for live streams over on Twitch.tv. If you haven't subscribed to our Twitter feed, do. That's where I announce 
uh, when everything is happening, when videos go up, and when uh, new gameplay or when a new live stream starts. So uh, come join us there. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. Thanks so much for being with us. Have yourself a wonderful day. Stay safe. God bless you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.